Hi everybody, I'm Beth with Bodies by Pilates, and today I'm going to take you through a 20-minute toned arms class. So all you'll need today is a set of light weights, and that's it. So we're going to get started. We'll perform each of these exercises for one minute. For a total of 10 minutes, we'll take a break, and then we'll do a second round. So the first thing that I'm going to need you to do is just stand with your feet about hip-width distance apart. Roll those shoulders back. We're going to start with V raises. So go ahead and get started. Lift those arms and lower them. Lift and lower. So with those shoulders over those hips and those hips right over those feet. And then make sure that you are not having momentum in the arms that you're lifting and lowering the weights. Good. Keep it up. In 10 minutes, 10 minutes and 10 seconds, we're going to hold this up. And we're going to pulse those arms in, in five, four, three, two, one, pulse it in. So in an inch and out an inch. One thing I want you to think of is to keep the belly pulled in. Don't lock out the knees and pull those shoulder blades back. Good. Waking up those pecs here. Use that breath. We've got about 10 more seconds. Then we're going to go right into hug a tree. We're gonna put a small bend in those elbows. Okay, here we go in four, three, two, one. So go ahead and lift those elbows, bring those arms together, and then open them out. Bring them together and open. So as we open those arms out, I don't wanna see a lot of this. You wanna keep that rib cage closed. That's gonna keep those abs engaged and braced as if someone's about to punch you. You pull the shoulders down, but you lift the elbows. You don't lock them out like you're hugging a big tree right in front of you. Good. Open them. Remember, keep that rib cage closed. So try not to let it splay open. We've got about 25 seconds to go. Then we're going to move into a skull crusher. So we're going to take those arms together and we're going to lower them, bend at the elbows behind our head. Good. Keep it up. We've got about 10 more seconds here. Those shoulders should be getting warm now. Just gonna move back to make sure I stay in the camera. Here we go. Bring those arms together. Bring them up right next to your ears. I want you to lower and lift and lower. So the things to keep in mind on this exercise, try not to have the arms go out here. I want to see those arms right next to your ears and then try to keep those elbows pointed to me. So we have a tendency to let those elbows go out, close them up. Good. Keep it going. Drop those shoulders, pull that belly in, try to take some of that arch out of the back. We've got about 20 more seconds here. And we're gonna lower these arms, rotate the palms to face up, and we're gonna start with a bicep curl. So the higher up the bicep curl you can keep, the more challenging it will be. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. So separate those arms, bring them right in front. Go ahead and bicep curl it in. So what I mean is if you can keep those elbows at shoulder height, it's more challenging. Good. If you need to take a break or your arms are starting to really hurt and you just feel like your form is going to suffer, your shoulders are going to jump in, then maybe bring it down just a little bit. Keep those elbows away from the body, though. I don't want them to be in. So that takes the weight a little bit further away from the body. Then pull those shoulder blades back. You can try not to round forward because then we cave in at the belly. So you lift up out of the core. Lots of things to remember. But good form pays off in the end. Good, keep it up. Have about 10 more seconds here. Then we're gonna lower this and lift it. Not all the way down. Again, unless you feel like you need a break and you need to reset. Here we go, lower, lift, lower, lift. So don't walk out those elbows. You have a small bend in those elbows. And then once again, think about where those shoulders are. Pull that chest open nice and wide. Good. Lower and lift. Again, if you need to reset because you feel those shoulders coming in, you just bring them all the way down and you take them right back up. 
give yourself a small break, and then jump right back in there. We want it to burn. Good, okay, we've got 25 more seconds. And then we're gonna finally gonna bring these arms down and go into standing lat raises. Good. Keep breathing. Lift and lower. All right, we've got five, four, three, two, one. Bring those arms in so they're right next to your side. Rotate the palms so they face each other. Open out to the side and close. Open and close. So on this one, I want you to feel like you're popping those balloons right underneath those armpits, okay? Close it. Create the resistance. Even though the weight is light, you can make this more challenging by really concentrating on the move and where you want to feel the work. So as you lift those elbows, try not to hike up the shoulders, okay? Keep the shoulders down, elbows go out to the side as one unit. 25 more seconds here. We're in the home stretch, more than halfway done, 15 more seconds. Keep that breath going, squeeze it into the side body, squeeze, good, lift, lower. Lift, lower. Okay, from here, we're gonna go into a lat, reach and pull. In three, two, one, rotate those arms out. Take it out, bring it in, out, in, out, in, good. So you can speed this up. Ooh, keep those palms facing up. I'm gonna continue to work that bicep. And I want you to think about bringing those shoulder blades together. Think about bringing those elbows together in the back body. Good, so it's not in front like this. It's out to the side like this. Keep those abs in. We've got 25 more seconds. And then we're gonna take these arms up and we're gonna do our lateral bicep curl. 15 more seconds here. Remember, you can take this as fast or as slow as you need to. Good, keep that chest open, pull those shoulders back. Five, four, three, two, one. Take those arms out, bicep curl it in, and out, and in, and out. So as those arms get tired, those shoulders are gonna to wanna to jump in. And they're gonna to wanna to come way up here. And you're gonna to wanna to push that belly forward. Your posture is going to suffer. So just lower the shoulders, relax. Lift up through the core and make yourself even taller. Good, you're halfway through it. 30 more seconds. We're gonna, our last two minutes, we're gonna hinge over and work on those triceps. Good, squeeze it in. Today I'm working with one pounders. So as you can see, you don't need a lot of weight and to really feel the burn. Cause I feel it. 10 more seconds here. Relax your shoulders. I just felt mine creeping in too. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. So come on over. Just hinge at the hips here. Bring the arms close to the body. Palms face in and then kick it out. So pull that belly button in so that you don't have this arch in the back like this. You want to pull the belly button in, flattening out the back and lengthening it. So try not to hunch over. Again, as we get tired, that's what we'll want to do. But I want you to keep that chest open. The goal is to take these arms straight back without totally locking out the elbows, but to get them as straight as you can and try to get them parallel with the ground. That's when the tricep contracts. Try not to lock out the knees. You can put a slight bend in those knees. We've got 10 more seconds here. And our final move is a combination. You'll hold those arms back, okay? We're gonna burn out these triceps in three, two, one. Hold it back, pulse it up. Keep them up there. Keep them away from the booty. Push that booty back. You're hinged over at the hips. Pull the belly button in. 10 more seconds here, and then you're gonna pulse it in. Keep them up there, even higher. Pull those shoulder blades back. Pulse it in. In, 
And you can do this. We're nearly there. Lengthen through that spine. Keep the neck in line with the spine. 10 more seconds here. Final move will be to put a micro bend in those elbows and then extend them. Here we go. So we slightly bend and extend, bend, extend, bend, extend. Last 10 seconds, you've got it. Pull those shoulders back, pull those arms up. Last five, four, three, two, one. Lower those weights, stand it up. Whew, that was awesome. So your first 10 minutes is done. Just sort of stretch out those arms a little bit. We'll take a minute break here. And then we'll do our last 10 minutes. So maybe roll up those shoulders. Look right, look left. Just making sure that you didn't get any tension into that neck. Like I said, roll out those shoulders. You can stretch them out. That was really good. So I hope you're feeling it. This next round, obviously, you're gonna feel it even more. And so you just be very aware of if your shoulders start to kick in, if your back starts to arch, um, other body muscles will start to kick in as the arms really fatigue. So that will definitely impact your form. So just keep an eye on that as we go through our second round. So you can pause the video if you need a little bit more time. Otherwise, take one last sip of water and then we'll get started on our next round. So let me hit my weights again. I'm sticking with my one pound weights. And I'm going to reset the timer. Here we go. V raises for 30 seconds. Lift it up. And remember, we're not just lifting and lowering, but we are deliberately taking that weight up and deliberately bringing it down. Pull that belly in, lift up through the core. Can you get even taller? Here we go, last five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here, pulse it in and out, in and out. So in and out, inch, out an inch. Wake up those pecs. You can feel it across the chest there. Hold those arms nice and long, so don't bend them. Straighten them, squeezing. If you're squeezing a person here and you're like, oh, I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> All right, five more seconds, then we're gonna go into our hug a tree. Three, two, one. Go ahead and bend those arms, lift those elbows, open it up. So remember, try not to splay that rib cage. Keep those shoulders down, keep those elbows up. Bring it together, wrapping those arms around that big tree trunk. Use that breath. I'm tired too. So I'm just concentrating on keeping good form here. We're already halfway through this. We have a tricep move built in the middle. A little bit of an active recovery, but not really. But you know, it'll feel good to lift those arms all the way up and to concentrate on those triceps for a second or a minute. All right, you got it. Last 10 seconds here. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Take those arms up right next to those ears. Bend at the elbows and lift. So try not to lock out those knees. Pull that belly in. Keep those elbows facing me. You got it. Keep it going. Remember, if those elbows start to splay, just close them up in front. We're halfway through it here. Use that breath. Extend those arms, squeeze those triceps. Don't cheat yourself, you've come this far. In about 10 seconds, we're gonna to move to a forward bicep curl. So we'll lower these arms to shoulder height in front of us, rotate those palms up, begin our bicep curl. Here we go, lower them in front, bicep curl it in. Good job. 
So once again, if you feel like I just can't hold my arms out there any longer, my shoulders are coming in, then you just lower it down. Just keep those arms out in front of you though, so that you are challenging yourself. You pull the abs in, you pull the shoulders back. If you need to come all the way down, come down and then come up. Then you're halfway through it. Extend those arms. Full extension on this one. Sometimes we don't always do that. We'll do a mini bicep curl to keep the contraction the whole time. This time we're coming all the way in and all the way out. 15 more seconds. We're gonna move into a lower and lift. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and lower and lift and lower and lift, lower, lift, good. So I like to go slow and deliberate because I feel like this is a lot of bouncing, but if you want to speed it up a little bit more, you definitely can. Extend those arms out in front of you. Don't totally lock them out. Pull those shoulder blades back. Like they have a magnet, they're trying to draw together. Good. Keep those shoulders over those hips, hips over those feet for balance. We've got 25 more seconds. We're going to take these arms to a 90 degree angle by our side, rotate those palms to face in, and then we're going to start with our standing lat raises. It's going to feel good. Last 10 seconds. Lift up. Don't sink into that middle. Last five, four, three, two, one, bend those arms, rotate those palms to face each other, lift it up and squeeze and lift. Good. Use that breath each time. Good. See, I told you this would feel better. Just bringing those arms down, feels good. We're still working those shoulders, creating that teardrop right on top. We're halfway through it. We're going to start moving into our lateral work. You don't have to do a lot of bicep curls to work the biceps. Really, a lot of times it's how you place your um, palms facing up, facing down. We've got 15 more seconds here. We're going to go into our lateral reach and pull. 10 more seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, rotate those hands, palms face up, reach and pull. So you're reaching out, pulling it back in. The other thing to do or notice in your form is have you broken your, your wrists? So are you letting the weight just hang out there? Really bad for the wrists. So try to keep the wrists nice and flat. So you'll hear me say, don't break your wrists. Keep it flat. You're halfway through. Twenty-five more seconds, and we will take these arms up to about shoulder height, and we'll do our lateral bicep curl. I hope you feel it like I do. Keep going. You've got this. You're so close. Lift up through your powerhouse, through your core. Pull those shoulders back. Last five, four, three. Two, one, take those arms up, bicep curl it in, and out, and in, and out. So this is another area where you'll want to watch those shoulders. So are those shoulders coming up, drop them. Just a sign that your muscles are fatiguing and they're calling out for help from the other muscles. You control them. Keep those elbows lifted if you can, right in line with those shoulders. We got 30 more seconds and two moves to go. You did it. You're so close. You're not going to quit now. Use that breath. Relax those shoulders. You can look left and right if you feel tension in your neck. Last 10 seconds here. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Lower those weights. All right, hinge over at the hip, pull the belly in, 
Take the palms to face each other, kick it back and then take a split second pause at the top so that you feel the contraction in the triceps. Take it back, breathe in and in. We got it. Looking so good. We got about a minute 30 left and we'll stretch it out. Good. 25 more seconds. Squeeze. Remember, as you get tired, your arms want to stop about right here. I want you to try and get them parallel with the ground. Pull those shoulders back. Has your belly button dropped? Have your abs stopped engaging? If they have, pull them back in. Tuck those hips a little bit. Okay, next one. Hold it back. Pulse it up. Bend up. Ooh, I know my hands, my arms want to drop. Take them up. You can do it a quarter of an inch higher. I know you can. Lengthen through that spine. Five more seconds like this. We're going to pulse it in. In four, three, two, one. Pulse it in. Take them higher, higher. Don't drop that head. Hold it up. Look in front of you. But don't put any wrinkles in the back of the neck here. Lots of things to remember. Last five seconds, then we go into that micro bend. We're done. Three, two, one. Micro bend, extend, bend, extend, bend, extend, bend, extend. Good. Flatten out that back. Reach. Last five, four, three, two. One, stand it up. Whew, that was a lot. Set those weights down. Okay, shake up those arms. Oh, so I'll take you th through a few quick stretches. If you need more, please take time to do so. Roll those shoulders back. So up, back, and down. Up, back, and down. One more. Good. Then just hold the arms down. Go ahead and add the chin to the chest. Feel the stretch down the back of the neck there. And then look center. One more time. Add the chin to the chest. And center. Look over to the right. Think about looking over that right shoulder. Come through center. Over to the left. Keep your right shoulder back. One more time. Over to the right. And over to the left. Good. This time right here to right shoulder. I'm sorry, everything looks backwards. And then the other direction. One more time. And other side. Good, take that right arm, bring it across the chest. So stretch out that shoulder. One thing we always do is sometimes we just get a little lazy. We just rest our chin on our Shoulder, I want you to pull the shoulder down, stretch it across the body, keep the hips facing forward. And open up both arms, take a big stretch here, and then bring the other arm across the body. Let that shoulder come down. Really good job today, everyone. Open it up, take that arm up. Let it just fall behind the head there. These triceps are probably a little tight. Gently assist the arm down with the other arm. So once again, try not to overarch that back. Pull those abs in, pull those um, glutes under or those hips under. Good. And then go ahead and switch it out. Last stretch, open up those arms, clasp them behind your back, and then you reach them away from the body. Pulling those shoulder blades back. Ah, feels so good. All right, let's take a big inhale up. Go ahead and blow it all out. Good job, everyone. That was your 20 minute toned arms class for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, check out the other videos on my YouTube channel at Bodies by Pilates. See you soon.